Hello and welcome to another video in Zenata Consulting's tutorial series. Uh, my name is Tyler Colts, and in this video, we're going to be walking through how to set up scoring rules inside of Zoho CRM. Um, scoring rules are a really useful way to kind of be gathering some data in the background about how engaged or interested certain leads or contacts are in a system. Um, before we jump into the video, I do want to ask if you find this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Um, that really does help us out and make sure that you'll see any of our future videos. If you do have any questions, comments, or feedback, also feel free to leave that in the comment section below. So here we're kind of in the CRM, um, we're looking at our leads module, and it's kind of a common looking setup, right? We've got a bunch of leads in here. Maybe they're all from different sources. They've got different lead statuses. And, you know, we've only got six in this demo account, but uh, I'm sure some of you watching have many, many more. And a common challenge that pops up in the CRM is, you know, we have all these leads coming in, we're sending out emails, we're placing calls, we're trying to get a hold of them. Right. And there's not really a great top down way to understand who is engaged and who isn't right, who is worth continuing to call and continuing to follow up on versus who's not worth uh, making those outreach efforts. And so scoring rules in the CRM are essentially a way to try to manage, you know, assigning certain quantitative values, you know, plus 10 points to a qualitative action like I opened an email. So. To actually go ahead and start your setup of scoring rules, we'll jump into settings in the top right here under the cog. And under automation, we'll access the scoring rules here. And these are actually pretty easy to set up once you know what they do and where they are. So we'll open up our scoring rules menu. And, and right now we don't have any, right? So we'll go ahead and add a new scoring rule. It gives you kind of the summary here. It's just a way to quantify your records calculated based on either field values, which I'll show you here, or customer interactions. So let's add a new scoring rule. Call this our example lead scoring rule. We'll pick a module, right? So here's kind of the core modules that we can choose. So leads, contacts, accounts, deals, and purchases. In our case, we're gonna use this for leads. That's honestly the most common because they're the highest volume right, where you want to be doing a lot of automated communications and kind of let the good ones bubble to the top. So we'll do our leads here. You can choose if you want this to be for only a certain layout versus all layouts. An example of that might be if you're in real estate and you have buy leads and sell leads, right, you might want to score them a little bit differently based on how they're interacting. I'll go ahead and choose all layouts here, though. So now we can kind of take a look at what our scoring rules um, can be set up to be based on. And so out of the gate, there's a couple here. We've got our fields on the lead, which I'll show you. We've got our email insights. So these are going to be emails sent from within the CRM, where we're scoring if they opened it, if they clicked it, or if it bounced, right? We want to subtract some points. Um, we also have the ability to score based on campaigns data. So this is if you have Zoho campaigns plugged into the CRM, um, you can actually score them in the CRM based on things that are happening on the campaign side. And then lastly here, we'll have on our page Zoho sign. So if they were to sign a contract or decline a contract, I can actually make some point adjustments to that record. Now, these are not all encompassing in terms of the scoring rules that are available. So if you have telephony turned on for the CRM, so maybe you have like a Ring Central a Twilio, an 8x8 account plugged into the CRM, you'll be able to score based on the call records as well in relation to those leads, contacts, and accounts. Um, if you do have that set up with the calls, it works exactly the same as what I'm going to show you here. Um, it'll just basically be an extra section for you. So I'm going to run through how to actually get these going. So first are the fields. And to do that, I'm going to open back up to my leads and kind of talk through why you might do some scoring based on the field values. So if we're to open up our leads list, what we'll see is, as an example, we have these coming in from a variety of different sources, right? So a contact us form, a referral from our online store, from a cold call, and from an advertisement. And so 
scoring again if our goal is to basically qualify the leads and say which ones are good and which ones are bad well different lead sources might actually be better or worse than one another so i would argue at least that a contact us form submission is a pretty good lead right because they actually went to your website they filled out a form they're like asking you to get in touch with them so maybe if someone is coming in from a contact form we want to add some points um, kind of the opposite of that would be something like a cold call, right? If they've never really raised their hand and said like, hey, I'm interested, you know, come get in touch with me, they might be a worse lead where they would get negative points. In this case, I'm just going to focus on this one as an example for our contact us form. And we'll go ahead and jump back to our scoring rules. We'll add a criteria here. And we'll say that if their lead source is... The contact us form maybe we're going to add 20 points let's say Oop, maybe we're going to add 10 points and so an important thing to keep in mind with these point values is that they're totally arbitrary right they really just matter in relation to each other right so there's no real like perfect science to it generally it's you know five ten you know in that ballpark um, and you can of course add kind of more than one criteria so let's say i were to open up a lead here and maybe we'll pick another field. You know, so in this case, we've got this field for a service interest, right? And so we've got these two different services, and maybe we would want to score on these as well, right? So I can say that um, if they're, you know, maybe we are better at working in CRM than we are in accounting. So maybe I would say if they are interested in CRM, maybe they're going to get another five points. Right. And so these are really useful if you are getting a lot of inbound leads, right, where they're kind of giving you this information and you're matching it to what an ideal lead looks like for you. Um, the other kind of types of uh, scoring here are more reactive, right? Now they're in the system, we're reaching out to them. Let's decide on how good is it, right? How good of a lead they are based on what they are interacting with. So if we're to look at these, if we have an email opened, surely they should get some points. A general best practice is that an open is not as good as a click, right? If they're actually clicking on the email, they're going to be more engaged, right? They're, they're someone who's actually now clicked through to your website. They read the article that you sent them, you know, so on and so forth. So maybe we want to say that if they open an email, we're going to give them five points. If they click an email, we're going to give them 10 and maybe if they are to bounce, we're going to subtract 10, right? Because, hey, we can still get on the phone and call them. But if they're bouncing, we're not able to email them unless we can sort out why that's going on. And now that's going to be essentially the same thing for email opens, email clicks, email hard bounce and soft bounce here for campaigns, right? It's going to be the same setup there, as well as for Zoho Sign, right? I could turn these on and set them up to basically tabulate their point values, similarly to how you would set it up for these outbound emails. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And, and I did that here to kind of take a look at um, what happens next, right? So if we update these scoring rules, we can actually tell the system to run them historically on any of the things that are already in the system at the time of adding the rules. So it's basically, we'll you know, calculate our new scores based on the field data, based on the emails, the only little trick is, is that they have to have been touched or been created within the last six months. I'll go ahead and update our old records here. And that'll take just a couple minutes here. So I'll go back to our lead section and then we'll do a little Martha Stewart, pull it out of the oven when it's complete and take a look at the lead scores now that they've been assigned. Oh, actually it looks like they did it super quick. So let's just jump right in. So now that we've actually turned on scoring and assigned it to update these records. If we look at this, you know, Tyler test lead here, it has a scoring role with 15 in the positive, right? And so that basically is indicating to us that they've done some things that align positively with the rules that we had set up, right? And that's because we kind of cheated here, right? And we based our rules to apply to this record. And so we have our CRM migration and our lead sources contact us form. So in this case, you know, they're a good fit lead and we're actually able to um, score them positively. Now, the way that this shakes out in terms of your workflow is if you actually look over here on the left, 
right? Right now I'm looking at all leads where only one of these leads actually has any positive points. If I come over here, I can actually say, hey, based on this scoring rule, show me leads that, you know, maybe their score is greater than zero. And so now I filter down and I'm only seeing leads that are good, right? And so oftentimes what you'll do is kind of save some of these filters. So over here on the left, I went to save filter. And I can create a new filter that will kind of quickly grab these leads for me. And so the thing with scoring is it's, it's important to understand that it's not like, it's not the only way to look at the quality of a lead. And you don't just want to delete all your leads that don't have a positive score. Um, but if you have like a team that's actually calling and manually following up on these leads, you want to make sure that they're getting a good value for their time, right? And they're following up with the leads that are more engaged, more interested, or a better fit um, for the services that you provide. So being able to score them and then surfacing filtered lists of leads that have a certain score can just make that outbound process a lot more efficient. And so with that, I think we've covered an intro here on the scoring rules. Of course, as with most things in Zoho, you can keep it simple or you can go pretty crazy with it, but this should get you on track to start setting this up in your own CRM. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did find it useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. We really do appreciate that and the ongoing support as we continue to make videos similar to this one. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.